As all of you know, the situation we find ourselves in seems pretty dire. Due to my lack of sound judgment, I fell for Corel's trap. The Ironheart, which I considered to be our only hope, turned out not to be the key to our salvation after all. If we had used the Ironheart in Albion as I stubbornly insisted, I dread to think what would have happened. This situation is one I created. I am solely to blame. Yes, I am the descendant who was always defeated. That is likely why I was never able to link with the Guide. I should never have become Commander. However, if there was someone who could heed the true calling of the Descendants, then I would let go of everything I have believed in up until now and put my trust in them. Everyone, I am ordering the destruction of the Ironheart. I will deal with the Magisters. I believe they wouldn't be able to survive without us anyway. Descendants, you need to work with the Guide and carry out any and all necessary operations to destroy the Ironheart. No need to wait for approval from HQ. Just make sure you are as victorious in this as you always are. I'm sure that you will be, as you always have been. I place my trust in you, Descendant. Command. We must move quickly. We need to support the Descendants and stop the Vulgus at all costs. Descendants, I have heard Alpha's message. I am sorry I'm unable to directly communicate with him. Come with me, Descendants. It is our turn now. Descendants, we are close to achieving our true target. However, as Alpha said, the situation is dire. We must hurry. First, it would be wise to move the Ironheart in the White Knight Gulch to Albion. Albion has put in place defensive measures to counter Vulgus battleships. We should also be able to access the energy required to destroy the Ironheart. But we need an immense amount of RK to detach an Ironheart which is linked to a Prime Hands. For this reason, most of the descendants must be sent to aid the detachment. For you, however, I have a different request. Descendant, come with me to where the phenomenon known as the Pillar of Light occurred. When that Pillar of Light took effect, as well as the energy of the Iron Heart, I felt a familiar kind of pain, as if my skin was peeling and my flesh was melting. There must be an inverted Iron Heart there. Corel would have connected it to a prime hands in order to collapse the dimensional wall. We must stop this before the dimensional wall is completely destroyed. We must retrieve the inverted iron heart. If we fail to do so, even if the iron heart is immediately moved to Albion, countless colossi will appear throughout Ingress. However, if we take back the inverted iron heart the destruction of the Dimensional Wall will be stopped, and Corel's advance will be delayed. I will deliver the mission to detach the Ironheart to the other descendants. Please go now, to the place where the Pillar of Light was. I will meet you there, descendant. Guy, this is Jaber. I've been dispatched to the Hagios. I'm investigating intel that Aemon, the General of the Legion of Immortality, was recently here. I don't think Aemon appearing at this point in time is a coincidence. I'm sure it's related to this incident. That is indeed unusual. I'll join you there, Jaber. This is Jaber. I have clear reception. Mind if we skip the pleasantries, since we're short on time? If what the guide says is true, in order to retrieve the Ironheart that's here, there's something we have to understand first. The entry device to the Hagios Prime Hands was destroyed a long time ago, 
and neither we nor the Vulgus could gain entry. But now they've just sauntered in there and connected the Einhardt to the Prime Hands. I think this whole thing has something to do with this intel on Eamon. Here. This is Zachary of the 22nd Recon Squad. A surveillance drone in the Hagios Corrupted Zone has tracked the movements of the high-ranking Vulgus, Eamon. We're unable to access the data remotely due to our signal being jammed. The surveillance drone needs to be retrieved for the data to be confirmed. Our recon squad has been scattered by a Valgus attack. Request him backup. This communication was received by HQ a few hours ago. Not long after, a pillar of light appeared in Hagios, and Corel's fleet began to move. I think Eamon found something in the corrupted zone that allowed them to enter the ruins. Looks like we need to find Eamon before we can get the Ironheart. Don't you think I'm the best person for that job? With my RK ability? The other descendants can help with the mission to detach the Ironheart. No, Jaber. We all need to go together. You should focus on your capabilities, while we handle the battle missions. It would be wise to gather intel on the nearby area first. We will need the Recon Squad's help to establish Eamon's location. Oh, well... This suddenly turned into a cooperative mission. Uh, well, I guess it should be fine, so long as I don't have to work with loud people like Blair or Luna. This is Zachary of the 22nd Recon Squad. Zachary, we've identified an allied signal. Please respond. Zachary, this is the descendant Jaber. We received your intel. Signal, please respond. Communications are unstable. I'm loading. Uh, looks like the jamming signal is still active. Take care of the Vulcans. I need to secure high ground to service the communications grid. Zachary, sending our location now. Please confirm if you're able to breach the siege and join us here. Coordinates confirmed. We're not far away. We need to clear a path first. Jaber to the 22nd Recon Squad. Securing nearby area and joining you. Over.
enemies blocking our path. We need to get through them to pass. The data the recon squad collected is sending out a signal from these coordinates. The recon data needs to be collected before it's erased. If we don't go and get it, that hard-won data will be lost. Confirming retrieval of recon data. Please continue with the operation as originally planned. Descendant. Dispatch a search drone. Requesting an escort for the search drone and investigation of traces of the scattered recon members. I'll operate turrets to keep the surrounding area secure, and I'll leave the escorting to you.
satellite signal confirmed. Descend it. Not far away. We'll be waiting for you. found something worth analyzing. Hold your position and protect the drone. scattered recon squad members. Understood. Thanks for the support. I don't need thanks. What I need is the recon squad surveillance data. Roger that. You don't seem to be very friendly with your teammates, Jaber. Uh, we're all just pieces on the chessboard of war. We can be best buds after we've won. Recon squad reporting. HQ, the descendants have arrived. I repeat, the descendants have arrived. HQ, do you copy? Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, descendant. You saved my life back there. I'm Zachary, 22nd Recon Squad member. 
So, do you know what the hell is going on? Comms have been down the past few days, we've had no backup. And then suddenly Eamon appears, and now there's some strange beam of light shooting down from the sky. I thought the Volgus were launching an all-out assault and nearly crapped my pants. <laughs> what? I was right? Well, that's one thing. But the comms... Did you say you only received it a few hours ago? No way. It's been more than 48 hours since I transmitted those comms. I can't believe you've only just received the comms I sent a few days ago. Hmm. Have you detected the Volgus jamming your signals at all? Ah, uh, so that's why backup was delayed. And why we weren't getting comms from HQ. So, when we saw reinforcements weren't coming, we had to put together a team of scouts to retrieve the surveillance drone ourselves. We lost many soldiers in the process, and the drone was damaged. I was planning to recover the drone's memory logs and take them directly to HQ. But as you know, we can use the RK warp device. What do we do now? Is the situation FUBAR? Don't worry. I designed this surveillance drone. I optimized its field performance so that you can use Volga's parts for emergency repairs. Zachary, can we get these parts nearby? Yep, we can definitely find them around here. I'll walk you through what you need to do. If we can access the information captured by the drone, we can bridge that 48-hour gap in no time. Keep at it. The operation is simple. Shake up the enemy lines there, and find the parts needed to repair the turrets here. Here come the enemy defense forces. I'll begin working once the commotion starts. Reinforcements have arrived. Divert their attention. I found the parts needed for the repair. needs to be louder. But blow up something. Their communications facility would be good.
There's likely another comms facility nearby.
Operator location confirmed. Since we can't just wait for HQ to send support, we'll have to find another way. Let's get the necessary parts first. There are a few that can be replaced with physical parts from Vulgus. Go and gather the parts from their mechanical bodies.
I'm low. Generator shutdown. All you have to do now is bring those parts. Hold on. Enemy reinforcement spotted. Given the situation, it'll be better to eliminate them from the inside. I'll provide support from the outside. Loading.
Alert and descended. The enemy's elite Vanguard forces have been spotted. They are now the highest priority target. Operation be confirmed a success. And as expected, the descendant is also safe. That should be enough parts to repair it. All we need to do is get it to boot in safe mode. The data the drone recorded is the most important thing. Bring the parts to the outpost. This is Jaber. I have clear reception. Huh. According to the data captured by the drone, Eamon's most recent destination was a naturally formed cave. It doesn't seem to have any tactical value. That being said, there's a high number of Volga's troops going in and out of the cave. Construction materials and heavy equipment. There's a lot of high-tech equipment being brought in too. They wouldn't be there without a reason. We need to initiate a search operation now. Could you handle the cave? I'll seal off the entrance to stop the enemy getting reinforcements, or retreating. Zachary will cover us from enemy snipers with a scout rifle. We don't have much time. Let's move. Descendants, there's a few important things to keep in mind for this operation. And I have a personal favor to ask of you as well. 22 recon squad awaiting mission. When you get near to the cave, be on guard for the commander level Volgus who is stationed there. He's a cyborg Volgus called Keldir. He's part of a specialized sniper unit that uses anti-matter ammunition. I managed to damage his visual sensors last time I engaged him. But he can still use his auxiliary sensors and sound functions to launch deadly attacks. Fighting him could be a challenge even for a descendant. And as for my personal request, well, if you do run into Keldir, I'd like to be the one to finish him. I lost a lot of good men to that piece of crap Volgus. If I'm not the one to take him out, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Zachary, emotional soldiers are no use in a war. Are you telling me not to avenge my men? No. If you're gonna do it, just make sure you're smart about it. We'll give you all the support you need, so don't be a hero about it. Whether it's the head or the heart of that Vulgus, we'll get you what you need. Understood. Extermination protocol. Destroy all traces of excavation. Activate all defense measures. To the entity who slays the descendant, Lord Aemon will bestow a new body prosthetic and independent persona. Excavation. You really are hiding something. The Volga signal from inside the cave was also very strong. Guys, can you identify anything of significance? I am unable to detect any traces of the Iron Heart or Void Energy from here. However, I am picking up a very familiar phase pulse. Uh, I'm loading. Definitely. Descendant, please look on the opposite side of the cave. Jaber confirmed there is heavy equipment and high tech facilities there. The answers will be there. Initiate section containment. Activate high energy laser defense. has entered the kill zone. Block all access roads. Initiate attack in a siege formation. Claim the kill. Execute the descendant. Be rewarded with body prosthesis and persona. Uh, broken partition control function into rows. If you destroy
Destroy all the controllers. The partition can be manually controlled from this side. Destroy all of them for me. are on a separate circuit. We can't control it from here, so we need your skills. Smooth as ice. Receive to the terminal. I'll try to control the decommissioned passageway remotely. Descendant, do you remember the phase shift gate that was at the Prime Hand's ruins? I think I understand that. It seems the waves I can detect are the same as the ones from that phase shift gate. Are you saying there's a phase shift gate here? I'm pretty sure the gate you mentioned was installed in front of the Hagios Prime Hands ruins. It's the only way to enter the ruins, but it's been sealed ever since it was first discovered. And this isn't the ruins. 
So what is it? Really? We should be able to find out soon. The wavelengths become stronger the deeper we go. Descendant. Over there. The Vulgus were excavating a face shift gate here. So it really wasn't just a cave. But how the hell did Eamon figure this out? Eamon has been well versed in the details and capabilities of such facilities for a long time. However, there is no time to stand and watch. We must find out what information Eamon was able to obtain here. Be careful of the Vulgus reinforcements as well. They've started to come through the cave entrance.
There is a terminal which is linked to the phase shift gate. Please connect me to it. There was more than one phase shift gate. The Vulgus have already excavated and taken several. The damage to the last remaining one here was so severe, it seems they abandoned their excavation of it. I detect phase wavelengths erupting from the damaged parts. The first surge was much stronger than the one we had just now. That's why there was a jamming signal generated across Hagios. We could use this when attacking. It might come in handy when we face Corel's fleet. Operation, check on the status of the Ironheart detachment. We're still working on the jamming signal, so our comms won't be able to reach all the way out there. Do you need information? What about? Descendant, what's the status of the Hagios operation? We haven't received any comms. We were getting worried. What did you say? The recon squad's communication was sent 48 hours ago? That doesn't make any sense. How have the Vulgus developed advanced tech warfare capabilities? Run the details by me again, please? All right, so Eamon was excavating a phase shift gate in the hidden ruins, and he discovered that the damaged device emitted quantum waves which acted as jamming signals. Hmm, I see. I understand that he would have taken advantage of such an opportunity. It seems luck is not on our side. If we'd received this report sooner, we could have acted on the information. But at least we have some useful intel, even if it didn't reach us at the right time. If we can find the excavated phase shift gate, we'll still be able to achieve our goal. I'm more concerned with the operation at the White Knight Gulch. It's taking longer to detach the Ironheart than we expected. At this rate, it may not be completed by the time Corel's fleet arrives. We've already had reports of Vulgus forces appearing near to the Gulch. We're running out of time. I wish there was some way that we could turn things around. We'll just have to do the best we can on both fronts for now. Please continue with the operation. Wait, are, are comms back up? Is this Jaber's receive signal? Blair, why are you in the Hagios? I, it is you, turret boy. It's nice to hear your voice. Have you eaten? Uh, what, what would happen to me? <laughs> well, it's a long story. There was the, the Volgus forward base and, and these weird cargo trucks. I ran into all sorts of things. While all that was happening, comms were down and the guide was nowhere to be seen. There were a lot of enemies and, and that weird beam of light phenomenon. Everything was nuts. Uh, the gist. Give me the gist. Vulgus space, cargo trucks. Actually, just send your current location. I should hear this in person. <laughs> well, sounds good to me. I'll send you the coordinates. You send me updates on what's been going on at your end.
Ask me anything about modules. Waiting. Come on in. H have you eaten? Damn. Jaber sent me the scent rub. Things have really hit the fan. Oh, you, you asked why I was here. I, I heard the scouts were having a difficult time of it, so I snuck in to make them a warm meal. A kind of surprise event. <laughs> but the real surprise was prepared by Corell. <laughs> God damn it! He seems, he seems like someone with no table manners. <laughs> Uh, so, no change there. Anyway, the, uh, <clears throat> the Volgus passed through this way not long ago with a convoy of cargo trucks loaded up with a ton of stuff. When I tracked the convoy with the scouts, we found some kind of Volgus forward base. It, it, it looked like it had been built in a hurry, but the security was no joke. What's worse, there was a commander-level Volgus. With heavy armor and high-powered weapons, he chased us, the bastard, and when we called for backup, there was no response. We ended up fighting for several days while being totally surrounded when suddenly a beam of light appeared from somewhere near the ruins. Maybe that fat-ass commander was also distracted by the beam of light because he stopped attacking and we were able to retreat. Just. By the time we managed to regroup, the only ones of us left were Dominic here, and me. Had I known what would happen, I, I would have brought my friends more than just a meal. It was, it was her last supper, in the end. Which is why, if you're going to that Volgus forward base now, you need to let Dominic and me tag along. They flipped the table in front of the chef, and it's time to teach them some real table manners. Also, if you want to prevent them from getting the Ironheart, you're going to need more people. Dominic will show you the way to the forward base. Let's head there and turn up the heat. Uh, why do more and more people keep getting involved? 22 Recon Squad, awaiting mission. Nice to meet you. My name's Dominic. I'm a scout accompanying Blair. In order to get to the Volgus forward base, you have to secure this area first as it's our main route. There's also a number of important additional tasks to do. Blair's already familiar with this terrain. I'll fill him in on the mission separately. You'll need to follow the instructions given by the recon squad. Or what's left of it anyway, as Zachary and I are the only ones who survived. Anyway, good luck. Oh, by the way, I heard from Zachary. His troops were hit pretty hard, but I heard you took the enemy to task and helped Zachary get his own back. Thanks for that. And Blair, your meal was also very tasty. I feel like I always owe you descendants something. When this battle is over, I'll buy you a drink in Albion on behalf of my entire team, I promise. Dominic, that's what you call a death flag right there. Soldiers are superstitious, you know that. Okay, then. I'll bake you a pie, or something, after the war is over. Not even you can top my mother's recipe. <sighs> Keep it up, you joker. Them's fighting words right there. Just ignore the hairball, Dominic. 
Descendant, collect the data from the recon drones. We'll use it to pinpoint the enemy's location. If that data isn't collected quickly, it will be lost. You have to hurry. Confirming data transfer. I'll analyze the enemy's position and relay it to all operation personnel. Everybody ready to turn up the heat? This next operation will be a diversion. While you're attacking here, Blair will clear a path to their front base. Sous chef, whip up something with the Volgus, please. <laughs> They're heading your way. than expected. You should exercise caution. Volga's signals coming from inside. Watch out for any possible ambushes that may be waiting for you. There's a substantial force stationed here as well.
I'm loading. Defense Commander Beggs. Relaying orders. Stop the descendants. Prove your loyalty and achieve new glory. That voice. It sounds like the Volkus Commander who attacked us. Is that right, Dominic? You would be correct. It is my greatest wish to be rid of that bastard. much of the area, I think we can start attacking their base directly. I've marked where to regroup. Let's get moving. I wish we could find some clues on how to access the Prime Hand. Okay, let's see what we have to do here then. So, we have to locate the phase shift gate that Eamon discovered and analyze it to figure out how it was done. That's easy enough. Jaber and the guide can do the analysis while the infiltration team fight their way into the base and wreak havoc. I want Dominic on higher ground to get eyes on the base and provide sniper support as necessary. I'll head out first. You guys follow me later.
We're off to a good start. We found their cargo. It's an excavated phase shift gate from the cave. We need to find out how the Volgus used this. If there is a Volgus terminal inside the base, please connect me to it. a security master key, and decrypt it. I'll try to open the case remotely. Once I disable the physical security, attack the cargo box, and get the key.
I'll search for a terminal that can be accessed internally. Wait here. in quantum energy that was stored inside the phase shift gates. There is a separate facility where energy is extracted and controlled. We must find this place. If that's the case, we have no other option except search the entire base. Descendant, once you've done everything you need to do, you need to destroy the power source so the Vulcus can no longer use it. I'll mark the location of the power unit. battleships and their comms is installed here. If we match the frequency of the jamming signal to the beacon coming from the cave, Corel's fleet will be unable to receive up-to-date information due to the increase in delay time. <laughs> uh-huh. And how about in plain English? I don't know how much simpler I can make it. If this operation succeeds, we can paralyze the entire Volga's communications for about 48 hours, just like they did to us. Does that work? Yes, that's the explanation I needed. I like this operation. Let's give them a taste of their own medicine.
found the device that controls the fleet beacon. If we destroy that, the beacon will be exposed. Neutralizes signals using the enemy's shockwave generator. Establish the jamming signal. You need to eliminate the form. See if we can use this variable to our advantage in the war. This is Zachary. The enemy's anti aircraft fire is making it difficult for Albion transport planes to land. Zach, watch out. There's an anti air railgun installed at this base. Tell the transport plane pilot to stand by. Descendant, the device that controls the enemy anti air guns is at the target zone. You'll need to get past the enemy's defense first.
target device is inside. When you get close, Eckert will attempt to neutralize it remotely. Eckert, do you need more time to disable the control unit? Almost blocked cause. Looks like we'll have to destroy it ourselves. Descendant, it's time for physical action. My shield is down. Spotted. Transmitting to your receive. You have to destroy it. Hurry. anti-air artillery have been neutralized. Help guide the transport planes to land. Approaching the ruins. We need reinforcements. Master Amon, what is going on? Why does he not reply to our communications? 
I will send my personal commander unit for now. The descendants must be stopped. I will personally synchronize with the search drone and look for energy traces. The drone that I was connected to will eventually malfunction due to its circuits overloading. But we have no time to look for another method. To use the drone for as long as possible, we must lower its output. This will slow it down, but it protects the drone's circuits for longer. My shield is down! The phase shift gate seems to have passed through this area. I can detect a faint energy signals are interfering with my search. All the Vulgus who are obstructing the tracking must be removed. All I can do now is follow the faint traces I can sense.
they stored the device here. There are lingering traces of a large amount of energy. Please protect the drone. I will check the location of the face shift gate.
December. I believe I may know where the energy traces have gone. I will send you the coordinates. These coordinates are close to the Prime Hand's ruins. The Volga signals are already going crazy. I was gonna join Zachary. Are you sure you won't need me on support? Compared to the Volgas that are gonna swarm the White Knight Gulch and Albion? This is nothing. And I've got all the support I need. And your promise of homemade pie at the end of it all. There's no way I'm dying without a taste of that. Yeah, that's a death flag. Ah, oh, damn it! I, <laughs> I'm sure I'll, I'll be okay. We've detected signs of the quantum energy extracted from the base shift gate in some electrical equipment. We need to get our hands on that equipment and analyze it to see how the enemy used the quantum energy. Then we should be able to find a way to enter the Prime Hand's ruins. Now that we're here, I'm almost certain it's the right place. The subtle feeling of the Iron Heart particles, this pain, and its familiarity. The inverted iron heart is definitely inside those ruins. But the inversion technology database left by the ancestors is not yet accessible, descendant. We have no guarantee as to what will happen, nor do we know whether we will be able to control the inverted iron heart. Based on the data I have collected so far, I will try to come up with as many backup plans as possible. I hope that what we do here will give us the power to strike back, Descendant. I mean, we can always rely on our RK somehow, if something happens. <laughs> That's what got us this far, right? RK's an unfathomable power. With unfathomable potential, too. <laughs> That's what you call hope, Jaber. Hope? We've detected quantum energy coming from the Volgus battery. I'll send a supply box. Retrieve the battery from the enemy and send it this way. Blair, cover me while I carry out the analysis mission. Huh? What about your turret? The turret is an invincible. Besides, we don't have any tactical armored vehicle. So if the enemy swarms us, we don't have the firepower to stop them. Oh, well, when it comes to firepower, it's gotta be me. I got your back. Focus on your mission. Should be arriving there soon. Be ready. Loading.
Hold on. I'm detecting the same type of energy as the battery has, flowing from inside the cave. I've identified numerous traps inside the cave, so be careful. How dare they break my shield? Jaber, this space is connected to the Prime Hand's ruins and the power grid. It's another phase shift gate. Ha! Huh. Analyzing this type of equipment will be much more efficient for me. I will try to understand what the vaults are up to here. Eamon extracted energy from the phase shift gate here, then overloaded it by sending power to the sealed gate. All the power facilities nearby were set up for this purpose. Achieved his goal. Did you just hear that? Get out now. The enemy is going after the cave.
to attack. I would not have allowed them to get this far. However, for all of you, this is your opportunity to earn new body prosthetics and persona. Thank you for all your hard work, Miss Simmons. Now let's find a way to reactivate the phase shift gate. If we use the body of a Legion of Immortality unit, we will be able to gather more of the energy required to reactivate the phase shift gate. The biopower supply of the Cyborg Frogus have absorbed an immense amount of quantum energy. In other words, if we collect their batteries, we will have enough energy to operate the gate. quantum energy saturation levels. Be careful, listen. There is a Vulcus attempting to steal the energy.
my list of things to develop. To activate the phase shift gate, we must gather the remaining excess energy. The Vulgus know this and are trying to neutralize the energy. We have to completely destroy all devices installed by the Vulgus. However, they can't be 
destroyed by firearms. Our only option is to use the enemy's energy neutralizing EMP. Found another one not too far away. Sending coordinates. Gradually getting weaker. Hurry. I'm loading.
stop them, they'll try to repair the energy neutralizing device. You don't get better. to activate the phase shift gate. Let's meet at the entrance to the Prime Hand's ruins. So, this isn't one of those situations where one of us has to remain outside to control the energy, is it? <clears throat> you're, uh, you're not disagreeing with me. Because you've hit the nail on the head. As Eamon didn't open the gate through any normal means, I figured there'd probably be some lingering consequences. But the gate to access the ruins was more volatile than I anticipated. If we leave it operational, there'll be another quantum pulse explosion, like the one we saw with the abandoned gate at the cave. We have to temporarily stop the energy supply to the gate after the infiltration begins, and reactivate it once the infiltration team completes their operation. Considering the number of Volgas headed this way, there's no way we can control and defend the gate with just one descendant. We need two or more descendants to stay here. No time to waste. Jaber, you operate the gate, I'll cover you. We'll hold this place down no matter what. Infiltration team, you guys go and retrieve the Ironheart. Does that work for everyone? Blair, it won't be smooth sailing for you guys. Ha! <laughs> you think your job's gonna be any easier? <laughs> Good luck, infiltration team. Guide, you hang in there too. I promise we'll return with the Ironheart, no matter what.
check the map of the ruins that was sent to your receive. I will guide you to the Prime Hands. The map was created during an expedition from a few decades ago, but it's still highly reliable. Since our operation has been made possible through the sacrifices of these early descendants. Oh no. Amen has stationed a large number of forces within the ruins. The Vulcan commander who attacked Blair and the recon squad must be here as well. I recommend being prepared for sporadic battles. There are also likely to be a number of traps set up to prevent us from advancing. According to the records, in order to activate the Prime Hands, power must be established throughout the ruins. The records mention a power facility. I will guide you there. It seems as if the Vulgus have prevented the power facility from being operational. Let's remove the circuit channels and get the power facility up and running, Descendant. Sizable Vulgus forces headed your way. I believe they are trying to prevent you from activating the power supply. Lord Aemon! The vermin are awakening the ruins! I think they're after the Ironheart! Please! We need reinforcements! Master Aemon! Strange. There's no response. It doesn't make sense. Master Aemon should be on Corel's ship! Keep requesting reinforcements! The electronic jamming signal installed by the is blocking all its communications. If we can keep this up, we have a chance of winning. This operation will work, provided there are no surprises with the inversion process. There is power to some parts of the ruins, but it has stopped working in other sectors. There's no clear route. We'll need to rely on our agility. Let's move carefully, Descendant. This place has long fallen into disrepair. There are likely many sectors that have been abandoned like this. Activated the power! 
Activate the laser barriers at the each path. Increase output to max. No matter what happens, we must complete Master Eamon's mission. I had to prove my loyalty for decades to get these prosthetics and persona. But I will share my persona with anyone that kills the descendant now. This is your chance to become my clone. Descendant, we are approaching the zone where Prime Hands are located. Hold on just a little longer. rising in the zones beyond this partition. The partition's been kept in place so that the ruined system can respond to the thermal fatigue. 
This temperature change was caused by the radiant heat generated by the inverted energy. Then the level with the inverted energy reaches its peak exceeds even my imagination. Humans won't be able to withstand even for one second. Descendant, can you hear what I'm saying? I'm loading. You must stop the operation. I didn't have enough information. Even if we set the inverse calculation of the radiant heat as low as possible, the human body cannot withstand inverted energy. Descendant! Operation team, this is Jaber, requesting an update on the current state of the operation. What are you gonna do with that intel? Wouldn't it be faster to just ask them when it'll be over? Ugh, damn, that hurts. Pass me some more rounds. That's the last magazine. Use it sparingly. Descendant, I heard the infiltration of the ruins was a success, and the inverted Ironheart has been retrieved. How's the operation going? Do you think we have a chance? Corel's ships are slowly appearing at the White Knight Gulch. Hopefully we'll hear some good news from the front. Any of them. Descendant, please respond. Descendant. I understand your intention now. I see you've decided to put your faith in hope. Seems not only did I lack information regarding the inversion process, I also did not know enough about humankind and descendants. I support your decision. I will never give up, descendants. Descendant. 
That laser device runs on the external battery. I will display the location of the battery's heat source on your receive. Destroy it. Poultry soldiers are killed. I will kill you and make a new prosthetic from your body. Master Eamon, please watch out for me.
inverted Ironheart is forcing the dimensional wall to open. If this occurs at all of the Prime Hands, the dimensional balance will collapse completely. The Ironheart must be contained. Watch out! Descendant! Wait. Your Arche is reacting to the inverted. experiencing any RK irregularities. If nothing is wrong, I have something to tell you. I have finally unlocked the secret behind the Ancestor's inversion technology. And thanks to the sacrifice you made, Descendant, I was also able to access the inversion technology database, which had been sealed. Inversion was a forbidden technology that reversed the entropy of infinite energy composites like the Ironheart and turned them into antimatter. The inverted Ironheart was intended to be a core element as part of a process to reverse the laws of nature. Antiparticle weapons, destruction of the dimensional wall, multi-dimensional space-time connections. I see traces of countless unthinkable plans. According to the development logs, inversion was created by extremists among the ancestors who were obsessed with using the Iron Heart. But it seems the Vulgus somehow obtained this inversion technology. I think the ancestors and the Vulgus were connected in some way, long before I was created. I can find no records as to whether that relationship was one of conflict or cooperation but there may have been no reason to include that in my files. As you know, I am not here to protect the Iron Hearts. I am essentially a track and annihilate program designed to destroy them 
and everything about them. And through this recent research, I have become more certain of my role and my mission. Descendant, I have acquired an algorithm to analyze inverted energy and have derived a way to destroy it. My next step is to try and apply this to our current situation. Although we can only extract the inverted iron heart from within RK once, theoretically, there may be a faster and more certain way to destroy it than the process we might use for a regular iron heart if we use the properties of antimatter. Wait. There was a minor problem when I tried to activate the phase shift gate. It seems a colossus has been drawn to the inverted energy. I'm sure we'll hear from Albion soon. Colossus is closing in. Towards the Hagios Prime Hands at a rapid speed. Classification type Swamp Walker and Deadly Great Walker Mutation. Descendants in Albion, commencing the intercept battle. Come on, Mr. Colossus expert. Hagios is Volgus territory. Can't we just leave it to them? I agree. Right now, we've got bigger things on our mind. Entertaining those thoughts can be very dangerous, Jaber and Blair. I am analyzing the Void Paradox. Descendant, I have received reports of your outstanding performance in Hagios, and with our ongoing research into inversion. We believe that Swamp Walkers were alerted by the inverted energy exposed in Hagios, and began heading toward Ingress's dimension. But they're not only targeting Hagios. They're currently moving toward multiple areas within Ingress. What will you do if one of the Swamp Walkers approaches Albion? I heard that you have submerged the inverted Ironheart in your arcade. Can you guarantee that they won't be drawn to that energy, Descendant? We cannot always assume a best-case scenario. That kind of carelessness is how humanity was almost totally annihilated a century ago. You are humanity's hope, Descendant. You need to be more proactive. Damn it. Since Mr. Colossus Expert is being so serious about this, it looks like we have no choice, Turret Boy. I believe the data from the Colossus will prove useful. Useful? For what? Cracking open amorphous materials? Please, just let her finish. As Seneca said, the Colossi are moving towards various regions not just Hagios. If those regions show signs of inverted energy, we may be able to use that for our overall plan. The plan to destroy the Iron Heart. Well, that's good news! Whatever you're planning, we have to do it fast. The White Knight Gulch is still dangerous. Have you completed preparations?
would intercept battle, provided an opportunity for me to survey the area around the Colossi's target destination from within the Void Dimension. They were headed towards some snowy fields, and the area was emitting a large amount of inverted energy. Guide, the location I just sent you? That's where we think the Vulgus Fortress is. If you found any features or have any intel, please send us the details. <laughs>